All right, Shalom to the elect. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakodash, and Tawada, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai for giving us the spirit of truth. In these last days, which the world cannot receive, and it's always double honors to my apostles that held as a great millstone and taught me this truth. And do a well, broke a thumb. Peace, love, and salutations to the Zakwani Wa Achim, and Shalom to the rest of the predestined elect. All right, so yeah, I just want to do a quick lesson. All right, Lord's will edifying and comforting to the sincere Akim Wa that wholeheartedly believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, in truth and in sincerity. <clears throat> All right, so earlier I was just doing a uh, heavy meditating on, you know, the granted mercy. All right, of the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, Taurus, and uh, special, special men, okay, uh, I.e. the 144,000, okay, the prophets, the men, the apostles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, their loved ones, their family members, okay, and uh, soon to be, okay, the great multitude that the Heavenly Father promised He would have mercy on in these last days. All right, I want to start here in the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine. It says, "They." They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect. Okay, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So that's where the understanding comes in uh, 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 in the beginning. All right, because what? We put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We put our, our trust in the name, all right, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is that strong tower. So what did he do in return? He gave us the true understanding, the wisdom and the knowledge, all right, of, of, of the scriptures and the times that we're living in so that we can measure the time diligently, man. So we can tie in key events, all right, uh, biblical uh, prophecies, okay, and line them up what was actually taking place out here in these last days, man. Okay, so we understand the truth. It says, "In such as be faithful in love, right? The love is the what keeping of the commandments, all right? The love is the obedience, all right? Okay, of the heavenly Father through His only begotten Son, and that takes a, a, a faith, man. Okay, that takes belief. Shall abide with Him, yeah. The scriptures say, He that dealt, uh, dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty.' Another word for abide." It's pretty much a, a, a lounge or dwell. All right. Comfort, man. So our comfort is wholeheartedly in the words. All right. In a promise. Okay. In the promises of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect. See, so grace and mercy is to specific men. All right. Being a, the, the, the heavenly father's elect, man. The house of David. And he have care for his elect. Yeah. The, uh, the 144,000. All right, the, and the great multitude of the one third men, men, women, and children that's written about in Revelations, the seventh chapter. Okay, the friends of the prophets, the helps of the prophets. Okay, and all that are written in the book of, of life, all that are predestined for the salvation. All right, promised by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in these last days, man. Okay, so I want to get this here in Sirach 47 and 22, but the Lord will never leave off his mercy. Neither shall any of his works perish. Neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect. You see? Okay. And, and, and let me get this word here, abolish, real quick. Okay. Because the scriptures say the Lord will not, the Lord will not uh, forget his works. None of his works will perish. Okay. Okay. And the great works that uh, Yahweh Shmuel Shai is, is getting ready to do for the elect is going to be written about man it's going to be talked about for generations and generations man why because we put our trust in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man all right so the word here abolish it says put an end to do away with yeah destroy okay it says cause to die out yeah man so the Lord will not you know the Lord will not cause the elect okay starting off with the elect of the nation of Israel to be to die off man okay to have no remembrance Okay, to pretty much perish, all right, and have no mercy shown upon them now. Because what? It says this in uh, Sirach 47 and 22 again. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will never leave off his mercy. You see? Come on, man. All right. You know, as soon as you start doing a lesson, man, calls and texts, you know. But it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, but the Lord will never leave off his mercy, neither shall any of his works perish. 
Neither will he abolish, okay, which is what? Destroy, cast off, do away with. You see? Let die off. Nah. Okay, the posterity of his elect. In the seed of him that loveth him, he will not take away. Wherefore he have gave a remnant unto Jacob, and out of him a root unto David. Yeah. See? And that mercy starts with Yahweh Shai because what the scriptures say in Matthew is that he shall save his people from their sins, man. Okay. Now I want to get this here. All right. In um, 2 Maccabees, okay, chapter 6 and verse 16. And therefore he never withdraweth his mercy from us. And though he punish with adversity, yet doth he never forsake his people. Yeah, so though the Lord punish us with adversity, what does uh, uh, King David say in the book of Psalms? All right, he said, it is good that I be afflicted, that I may learn thy statutes, man. So the, chast the chastisement of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, is needful. Okay, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 22, verse, uh, I'm sorry, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12, verse 22. It says, therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, Okay, in what? In the book of Hebrews. Okay, it says, uh, Despise not the chastening of the Lord, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastised and scourgeth uh, every one of uh, his sons that he receiveth, man. All right, so it says, Thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more, to the intent that when we judge, all right, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. You see? Okay, so though the Lord, Yahweh Bashemashai, will jack Jacob, yet in his right hands is what? Mercy, pleasures forevermore. Because the Lord said, in my wrath, I smote thee. Okay, and that was us pretty much having a falling away. That's pretty much us being in the land of our captivities. But what? The Lord said what? We will remember him and think upon his name. All right, and have trust in the Holy One of Israel, man. So I want to get this uh, example in the book of 2 Maccabees, the 8th chapter, going into Judas Maccabees and his men. When they encouraged themselves, they exhorted themselves within the, uh, tr the trust of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when uh, Nicanor and his men came up against them, man. Okay? And this is the times that we're uh, coming in, man. A great siege is getting ready to happen to uh, uh, to Israel again. Okay? 70 AD HD. Okay? All right? The time uh, uh, never seen before. Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, the wrath of the uh, of the enemy, man. Esau, Edom, the sword of the heavenly father coming down with great wrath. Okay, as a flood, man. Okay, to pretty much what? Drown the nation of Israel, man. But see, if it wasn't for the, the, the elect, say, no flesh would be saved. So the Lord had a what? A spiritual ark built, man, in these last days, man. All right. And the elect are kept in the bosom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 8, verse 1. Then Judas Maccabees and they that were with him went privily into the towns and called their kinfolks together and took unto them all as uh, slot, all such as continue in the Jews' religion, all right, and assembled about 6,000 men. And they called upon the Lord that he would look upon the people that was trodden down of all and also pity the temple profane of ungodly men. And that's the spirit that we're in. We're calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the hopes that he will have mercy upon us and look upon our afflictions as we've been trotted down of all nations, man. Mocked of all nations. We're a proverb and a byword in the face of all these nations, man. You see, none have pity. All right. They walk uh, amongst us and they, they laugh <laughs> within themselves, man. Like, look, at you know. Look at these niggas, man, you know? All right? Okay, and it says here, And also pity the temple profane of ungodly men, verse 3, in that he would have compassion upon the city sore defaced and ready to be made even with the ground. You see? So we're looking for the compassion of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai upon the city sore defaced. So now when you go into this word here, defaced, right? This is the nation of Israel. We are defaced. All right, this word here, defaced, all right, in the etymology, it's a word from the mid-1400s. It says to obliterate, all right? It says to destroy, mutilate, okay? It says uh, to make ugly, man, all right? So the nation of Israel, all right, you so-called Negro, Latino, and from like Indian men, women, and children, you are a ugly people in the sight of all these nations, man. You are defaced in the sight of all your enemies, man, Okay? 
So verse four, I'm going to read verse three again, second Maccabees eight and verse three, in that he would have compassion upon the city sword defaced and ready to be made even with the ground. Yeah, that's, that means trodden down, dead, man. And hear the blood that cried unto him. Okay. And what the scriptures say, the righteous blood crieth unto me daily, man, in the book of second uh, Ezra. All right. Verse four. And remember this to point. All right, it says, and remember, oh, slot nine, this is not the point, this, this, this is another precept, but it says, and remember the, the wicked slaughter of harmless infants and the blasphemies committed against his name and that he would show his hatred against the wicked. See, the Lord, Yahweh is getting ready, okay, to make known his hatred against the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, and all you other nations and two-thirds of his people that hate him, man, because the scriptures say, all that hate me love death. So your actions, okay, and your uh, uh, filth, okay, that you're waddling in, all right, is leading you to your destruction, man, okay, and not towards mercy, man, you see? Verse 5, this the point, now when Maccabees had his company about him, he could not be withstood by the heathen, see why? Because that standard is lifted, man, and we're coming into the time where the heathen, all right, is going to uh, be, uh, 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 you know, try to besiege Okay, the nation of Israel, chiefly the elect, but what? They're not going to be, they're not going to be able to uh, uh, come up against the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, it says he could not be withstood by the heathen for the wrath of the Lord was turned into mercy, man. You see, the wrath of Yahweh is getting ready to be turned in, into the mercy. All right. Okay, for the, uh, for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right. Tobit 13. All right, in verse two, for he doth scourge and hath mercy, he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. Confess him before the Gentiles, the other nations. All right, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. All right. Okay, verse five, jump down, and he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom. He have scattered us. So the Lord is getting ready to show great mercy in these last days, man. All right, brothers is getting ready to cash out, okay, on their faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because that's what the Lord is looking for, man. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is looking for that mercy, all right? I, I'm sorry, he's looking for that faith and the elect have that possession, man, which they were uh, they were granted, okay, from the foundations of the world to re to have as a token, all right, for their salvation, man. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right, and we're getting ready to see the abundance of, of that mercy, man. Okay, so I want to uh, close out on this here in the book of Tobit 13, all right, in verse uh, 7, okay? It says, I will extol my power, and my soul shall praise the king of heaven, and shall rejoice in his greatness, okay? And we're getting ready to rejoice in the greatness of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Why? Because the scriptures say, Cursed be the man that trusted man and make the flesh his arms. Right? Because these people are trusting in men. They're trusting in the system. They're trusting in the government. They trust in their enemies. But what? We put our trust and our faith and our hope in the King of Heaven, the Lord of Lords, man. The King of the universe, man. Second Maccabees chapter 8, verse 18. For they said he, this is Judas Maccabees, pretty much exhorting his men before they went out to battle. Okay, and they said they were ready to die, man. It says, for they said he trusts in their weapons and boldness, but our confidence is in the almighty power who at a beckon can cast down both them that come up against us and also all the world, man. All right. So call hello, y'all, Bashim, y'all, shy, man. Okay. Okay. Let these heathens and let two thirds of our people, let them trust in, in the sword. Let them trust in their flesh. Let their confidence be in, in carnality, man. All right. Our trust and our confidence. All right, and the weapons of our warfare are our faith, all right, which is our shield, our sword, which is what? The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And, and, and let us take upon us the helmet of salvation, man. So with that, Lord, we're edifying to the elect to the next time I say Shalom.